Well, when we study the chemistry of 3i Atlas, one of the things that we see is that there's no iron there appreciably, but there are nickel alloys that are very similar to the nickel alloys that we use in our spacecraft. A former NASA chief scientist has stepped forward with a warning no one expected. After studying the data of 3i Atlas, he is now revealing new details about this interstellar object. He's pointing directly to the spin, the symmetry, the heat patterns, and the light emissions. None of them follow natural laws. Every response looks controlled, and now he's showing the evidence. We see these kinds of things and people continue to say, oh, it's just a comet, it's a natural comet, except that it's not doing natural things. This is no longer about a comet acting weird. We may now be looking at the first interstellar object to show engineered behavior. The Credible Voice. Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object through our solar system. It did not come from a headline. It came from inside the system. A former senior NASA scientist, someone with years of classified experience in flight systems and deep space observation, has stepped forward. After reviewing the data on 3i Atlas, he believes the object displays what he called layered anomalies. According to him, these patterns cannot be explained by sunlight, gravity, or thermal mechanics alone. He examined spin curves logged by NASA's Near-Earth Object Program and several international observatories. Each irregularity, he said, is backed by direct measurements across multiple instruments. 3i Atlas is supposed to be a comet. Comets are unstable. A piece of rock drifting through space does not self-correct. It does not spin with perfect rhythm, and it does not hold its structure through thermal strain. But this one did all of that. He found that 3i Atlas had already broken expected light curves. It brightened too early. It does give scientists a rare chance to study something from beyond our solar system. The gas jets activated before solar heating could account for them. The rotation stayed perfectly stable through it all. Compared to other interstellar objects, the difference was not small. It was complete. This was about what the data implied. The object's behavior looked structured, controlled. Other observatories had noticed the same thing. The brightening made no sense. The internal heat maps showed symmetry instead of chaos, and the coma's chemistry stayed separated when it should have blended. When this former NASA scientist finally put it into clear language, it gave shape to what others had only hinted at. He used the term engineered behavior with purpose. One of the main indicators was thermal symmetry. Natural objects do not heat evenly. Their surfaces form shadows and hot spots. But this object had three repeating hot zones, each one perfectly spaced and rotating in sync. Trajectory which is perfectly aligned with, and that is something that cannot be explained just by observing or imaging it. The symmetry held even after a suspected fragmentation event. That kind of balance requires structure. He also pointed to the object's ability to keep its spin stable during intense gas release. In comets, those jets act like thrusters. They always cause the object to wobble or shift. But 3i Atlas kept turning exactly as it had. Scientists who had struggled to explain the behavior began checking their data again. And what they saw matched. A few labs reprocessed their heat maps. They found the same thermal triangle he had described. Spectrograph readings confirmed the unusual composition, with carbon dioxide dominating where water vapor should have been. Radar logs showed the spin rate had not changed across multiple observation windows. This was not a coincidence. It was a pattern. 3i Atlas was reacting with precision. It responded to pressure without losing form. It triggered gas emissions in timed stages, and each new phase aligned with its internal structure. This scientist did not issue a warning. He issued a summary of a profile that no longer supported chance, and others began to follow. I think this is a wonderful topic, and there are many other scientists who are just working on the details of what it takes to, uh, to make us healthy. From that point forward, every update about 3i Atlas carried a new layer of tension, because the first signs of engineered behavior were not in the signals or structure. They were in something simpler, something undeniable, the way it brightened at a time when it should have stayed cold, and then did it again the anomalies. 3i Atlas started breaking expectations before it ever reached the inner solar system. It ignited and brightened, and it did it far too early. That was the first thing that caught attention. It lit up at a distance where sunlight should have been too weak to affect it. This was not a small spike. The brightness increased by more than five magnitudes in a window of less than six days. That kind of rise usually means something inside the object has changed, but the reaction did not follow the usual pattern. Comets brighten because of sublimation. Ice heats, turns to gas, and drags dust with it. That dust reflects sunlight, and the comet grows visible. Cometary tail around it, no dust, no gas. So the question was, 
What is pushing it? Maybe it's the reflection of sunlight. It is a process tied directly to temperature and distance, but 3i Atlas ignored those rules. Its coma grew before expected. The gas emissions appeared early. Its tail remained faint. It was active without the necessary heat. And yet, it did not behave like a melting object. Multiple observatories, including space-based sensors, recorded the same values. Models that had tracked thousands of natural comets could not reproduce its behavior. The second anomaly was not in the light. It was in motion. 3. I Atlas rotated with perfect rhythm. It followed a fixed cycle, one spin every few hours, repeating with almost zero deviation. Natural objects wobble and spin unevenly. They tumble, especially when outgassing begins. Jets of gas create tiny thrusts, knocking the body off balance. This is true for nearly every comet ever observed, including previous interstellar visitors. Even slight surface melting throws off momentum. But this object kept turning like a machine, just a consistent pattern logged repeatedly over time. We would like to understand better what the size of this object could be, the composition, the levels of activity. Researchers tracking it through photometric light curves noticed the regularity. Peaks and valleys matched up every time. That is not normal, and it becomes even stranger when you factor in the active gas jets already visible during the rotation cycle. Normally, those bursts would disrupt the rhythm. 3i Atlas absorbed them. At this point, the theory of randomness no longer held up. Something was controlling the spin. If not through external force, then through internal mass distribution. The object's shape or interior must have been so balanced, so unified, that it could maintain rotational stability despite asymmetric outgassing forces. That behavior has never been documented in natural cometary bodies. One observatory described the object's rotation as mechanical in character. Another called it torque-resistant and that was before the thermal data was released. Infrared mapping of 3i Atlas revealed another inconsistency. Instead of scattered hotspots, which is what sunlight typically creates, the object had three warm zones positioned at precise intervals around its core. The distribution did not shift with spin. It remained constant, showing internal regulation or structural reinforcement. And this thermal stability came during periods of active gas release. Its movement should be governed by the laws of physics, and physics says that passing by the sun would have slowed it down. That brings us to the third anomaly, the coma expansion. As the brightness grew, the coma, the cloud surrounding the nucleus, did not behave randomly. It expanded in an even concentric shape. Normally, a coma warps as jets erupt unevenly across a comet's surface. It becomes lopsided, turbulent, but here, the glow was even. That suggests the source of the gas was either evenly distributed or regulated by deeper structures beneath the surface. More troubling was the fact that the composition of the gas did not match standard comet emissions. Water vapor, the main driver in most natural comets, was barely detectable. Instead, carbon dioxide dominated by a ratio of 8 to 1. For context, typical long-period comets from the Oort cloud show water to carbon dioxide ratios averaging 100 to 1. Even carbon dioxide-rich comets rarely exceed 10 to 1. That makes an 8 to 1 carbon dioxide dominance not just unusual, it is extreme. This matters because carbon dioxide sublimates at much lower temperatures. It releases gas earlier in the journey. But even accounting for that, the timing still did not add up. The object emitted large amounts of gas before reaching a temperature threshold that would trigger such release. So, what did that leave? A few theories emerged. The first suggested a shallow layer of carbon dioxide trapped just beneath the surface, but that would have been spent quickly. The emissions continued for days. Others proposed chemical reactions within the core, but there was no supporting evidence for spontaneous reactions at those cold temperatures. More like the number of functions on a real manifold, and it's much larger. Than the, uh, than the number of points in the manifold. What remained was the simplest explanation with the most uncomfortable implications. The object was reacting in stages. The brightness, the jets, and the coma all changed with timing that looked structured. That pattern held even after a suspected fragmentation event. Normally, when comets break up, their structure collapses. But 3i Atlas experienced a distortion in brightness and then restabilized. Within a single day, its rotation returned to normal and the emissions continued. Every simulation using traditional models failed to replicate it, but its gas jets further prove how much of an anomaly 3i Atlas really is. When you see how they fired, where they came from, and what pattern they followed, it becomes harder to keep calling this object natural. Signals that shouldn't exist.
3i Atlas was already setting off alarms, but what happened next pushed it into a category no scientist was ready to face. It started with a signal, a repeated soft spike in infrared brightness that matched the object's rotation exactly. Every time it spun once, the pattern returned, over and over again. Infrared telescopes around the world noticed it. Different detectors, different weather conditions, different observation angles, and yet the signal remained identical. Each warm pulse hit the same spot in the rotation cycle. When overlaid with the rotational map, the heat signatures matched up with three distinct zones on the surface. Multiple independent observatories using different infrared instruments confirmed this correlation, ruling out instrumental error or localized atmospheric interference. And that's when the problem got worse. This is the trajectory right here. It's kind of close to Mars, but not really. Uh, but it's still pretty far away from Earth. Heat from the sun doesn't do this. It builds slowly, uneven across curves and angles depending on the surface. It doesn't pulse, and it definitely doesn't return to the same spot every single time unless something is actively controlling the flow from within. Those three warm zones showed clear thermal regulation, a term rarely used outside engineered systems, and the language scientists used began to change. Reports stopped calling them spikes. They became regulated emissions. Words like anomalies were replaced with coordinated thermal events. That shift was small but telling. Scientists were starting to realize they might be watching a controlled object, not a chaotic one. And then the object started to change color. Uh, from images, we also saw that this object is active, which is an indication that this object is in fact a comet. This wasn't just a matter of brightness. Spectrographic analysis revealed compositional irregularities in the coma. Emission signatures appeared in sequences that didn't align with the expected temperature progression as the object approached the sun. Certain molecular emissions activated earlier than solar heating models predicted, while others appeared later or in unexpected combinations. That's where the discomfort became impossible to ignore. Because even these emission patterns aligned with the same rotational rhythm, they emerged at specific spin intervals, and the areas releasing gas lined up with the exact same thermal zones already mapped by infrared. Every anomaly pointed back to those same three surface regions. It could be technological or it's just natural. Hopefully we'll know more within the coming days. In short, the chemistry, the heat, and the motion were all working together, like a system with internal logic, not random random bursts, not passive reactions, but something operating on timing and sequence, and it kept happening even when it wasn't supposed to. Gas jets typically throw a comet off. The spin changes. The object wobbles, but not here. The spin stayed tight. The pulse never drifted. Even when 3i Atlas showed signs of fragmentation, the rotation and heat zones came back perfectly aligned. That kind of symmetry doesn't recover on its own. Natural bodies break unevenly. This one kept its structure. That raised a disturbing possibility. What if the object had internal compartments? What if gases were being stored and released in stages, not from heating, but from design? One team proposed a crystalline core that fractures layer by layer. Another suggested pressure-regulated release chambers that respond to solar input. Both ideas go beyond any natural comet model. 2023 DZ2 was a significant asteroid. But what broke the silence in the scientific community was this. The same three zones, the same heat, same light, same emission, came back after the suspected breakup. That's not supposed to happen. It's not just rare. It's never been recorded in any known solar system object. A real breakup leads to randomness, scattered energy. But here, the object kept behaving like a machine snapping back into place. So far, no one has presented a clear model for how an interstellar comet, supposedly made of dust, gas, and ice, could maintain this kind of rotational synchronization between heat, chemistry, and structural output. And that's what makes 3i Atlas different. Because even without hard proof of what's inside it, the behavior we can see is already breaking the rules. And it's doing so with precision that has never been seen in a natural body. What this could actually mean. Everything should have fallen apart when 3i Atlas came close to the sun. The pressure on the object reached its peak. Natural comets usually crack at this point, but 3i Atlas did not collapse. It did something else no one had seen before. We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth. Telescopes watching the object recorded a sudden change in its coma. The glow around it flared, then distorted. Astronomers thought it had broken apart, but then the coma reshaped. The brightness stabilized, and the object's spin returned to the exact rhythm it held before the event. That kind of recovery does not happen in natural fragments. Former scientists called this behavior impossible under standard cometary dynamics. 
He was not exaggerating. Nothing about the event made sense under existing models. Uh, this is the first time something like that is observed, where there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun. Some scientists began to ask whether the object was responding to the heat in phases, whether certain layers were designed to come off under specific pressure thresholds. That idea only works if the internal materials are arranged intentionally. If they are not, the behavior cannot be explained. More strange details followed. The same spike in infrared signal that had been tracked for weeks surged again during the suspected event. But it did not increase randomly. It peaked at the same rotational point as before, as if the object was releasing pressure or energy in sync with its own spin. That timing is not a side detail. It points to internal structure that survives external change. The spin, the thermal emissions, and the chemical patterns all remained intact. Even after what looked like a critical stress event, no natural object should survive that and continue functioning with perfect regularity. That is when scientists went back to the cosmic ray signature. There's a mysterious interstellar object hurtling towards our solar system, exciting scientists across the globe. Before the sun event, analysis of the object's coma had already shown something strange. Molecules inside the gas cloud were not damaged randomly. They showed layers of alteration each one reflecting different levels of exposure to cosmic rays. This is expected for old interstellar bodies, but only on the surface. High-energy particles leave scars, but they do not penetrate deep. Over billions of years, these rays create molecular changes in the outer crust. But in 3I Atlas, the damage extended inward, and it formed bands. That does not happen by accident. For an object to preserve layers of cosmic exposure without mixing, it must stay organized. It cannot tumble wildly. Its surface cannot erode unevenly. It must protect its internal layout across space and time. And yet, that is what this object had done. Every deep layer showed a different chemical age, each one separated by composition, color, and thermal behavior. This meant something had preserved those layers. How does a natural comet rotate with machine-like timing, emit synchronized pulses, release jets in geometric patterns, maintain a stable spin through high pressure, preserve thermal symmetry after a suspected breakup, and store clean cosmic ray layers? How does it do all of that without structure? Uh, this is the first time something like that is observed, where there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun. The answer most scientists offered was simple. It cannot. Dr. Gregory does not claim 3i Atlas, artificial in the way science fiction stories suggest. What he said was harder to ignore. He said the object is showing coordinated, structured, and repeatable behavior that does not arise from chance. He said the spin, jets, thermal output, color shifts, and emissions follow a cycle. And that means something. It means the object was either formed through a process no one understands, or it was altered. The idea of an engineered object is a description of behavior, a label for what the data shows. That label now sits in observatory logs, not as fact, but the best available explanation. The object that shouldn't exist. 3. iAtlas has left behind a trail of data that should not exist. This was never about one anomaly. It was the total pattern and a rotation that never drifted. It was about jets that fired with precision, thermal zones that stayed fixed, chemical signatures that followed no natural sequence, and a suspected breakup that ended with perfect recovery. There is only one explanation left. The object could have been possibly built since it behaves like one. While it has not been confirmed yet, the idea is now being seriously considered by people scientists. Is that the, it's moving uh, along a trajectory that is very special. If a former NASA chief scientist can step forward and say these signs look engineered, then ignoring them is no longer an option. Because either this is the most advanced natural formation we have ever seen, or it is the first one that wasn't shaped by chance at all. And if that's true, then 3i Atlas is doing much more than just passing through. It is revealing something, and it might not be done yet.